Hey everyone, this is Manuela and today I want to show you how we can use a rigid body instead of a character body uh, for implementing your uh, character controller in your game. So uh, let me start by showing you why you might want to do that. Um, so as you can see we have a character body controller and a rigid body controller in this example and they move at pretty much the same rate in all directions. There's a slight delay in the rigid body, but the real difference is the way they interact with other rigid bodies. Uh, the character body will either push the other rigid body without being affected by it, or be entirely blocked by the other body. Whereas the rigid body will still push the other body, but also be affected by it. As you can see, it slows down a little bit when it hits the other body. Other than that, they will behave pretty much in the same way. So here I'm starting a brand new project. The first thing I want to do is create a test scene. So we'll add the floor to the test scene um, by adding a mesh. Um, I will make the plane very large and then let's add the um, static body. And we want to add the collision shape of type world boundary. Let's call this main and uh, let's also add the direction light. And enable shadows. Let's set this scene as the main scene. And now we have our test scene. Uh, now let's create a new scene. Let's call it uh, character. This will hold our character. Uh, let's change the type to be a rigid body. And let's add the uh, uh, collision shape of the capsule and a mesh instance of type capsule as well. Now what we want to do is lock all the angular axis. This is because we usually want to rotate uh, our character directly. We also want to add the physics material and set the friction to Z. And now we can start uh, attaching a script. We will just call it uh, Carter. And now we can start by creating uh, our physics process method. So all the logic will be in the physics process. But we, we want now to create another script before we proceed. With this one, let's call this script uh, uh, PID3D. If you don't know what a PID is, I suggest uh, you give a look at Wikipedia. Um, but it basically allows us to apply forces to the rigid body so that we try to uh, keep a target velocity. Let's extend uh, ref counted. And let's add uh, these uh, variables. Now we can implement an update method for the PID. And what we want is to take an error and a delta and write in a vector tree. So we need two more variables. We have error by vector three, and then we need um, error in of type vector three as well. So the first thing we do is update error integral, and then we compute the derivative of the error uh, with this formula. And then we update that error to be error. 
and now we can write on this value um, e times error plus e times error integral plus d times um, error delivery and this is our feed let's give the class a name and now let's go back to our character class so the first thing we want to do is to declare a feed let's also add the constructor to the feed So now we can um, instantiate a feed. Let, let's use these values. Um, it would require some tuning in uh, your case, but um, I tested these values and they work uh, quite well. What we want to do is uh, determine the desired direction from the input. Let's have a constant with the target speed we want. And we want to normalize this as well. Okay. So now we can compute the target uh, velocity, which will be the direction times target speed. And now we want to uh, update. Uh, first we want to compute the velocity error the velocity error will be the um, target velocity minus the linear velocity so this is how different our velocity is from the target velocity and now what we want to do is update the p uh, giving it the velocity error and depth and this will write on our inputs. So uh, this value actually uh, big. We want to multiply this uh, by a small amount. Um, and now what we do is let's call this correction impulse. We apply a central impulse which is our correction equals add the character to our test scene and what we want to do is also add the camera of course let's move it to the top above our card so as you can see it already moves it's quite slow. Uh, I think I'm using uh, a value too small. Right, so now it moves. We can add other objects. Um, I will add um, each body. So now it's working. I will create a new tutorial soon where I explain how you can use animations with a rich body based character because if we use a um, character body you will have the speed at which you're going and you can easily match that with the root motion so you can have the speed depend on the root motion but in this case you will have a speed which you can't fully control and you have to match the animation to um, the speed. So I will explain how to do that in the next tutorial. Well, thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe if you like the content, uh, dislike it if you dislike it and um, see you next time.